Time now for our main event of the evening here on B3 Fight 63. The B3 Fights Professional Featherweight Division. Mr. Seth Anderson versus Kyle Hughes. And first, we say hello to Seth Anderson from Ozark, Alabama, and fighting out of Springdale, Arkansas, an intrepid MMA coach by Mike Wright, Skyler Mann, and Mike Young. He is 1-0-1, 35-year-old Seth Anderson. Tell us a little bit about him. Seth Anderson had a really amazing fight with us last June against Alvin Williams. Took a lot of punishment in the first round early. Second round comes out, gets a heel hook, and wins by submission against Alvin, who's a tough opponent. Here's Seth Anderson being treated by Crystal Morrow, our cut girl. We'll meet Kyle Hughes in a second. Before we do that, we want to make sure we tell folks about what's upcoming with B3 Fights as we got a couple of shows, including a return to Tampa, Florida in November, and we'll be back at Minglewood Hall in Memphis as well. November 11th, B3 Fights 64 in Tampa at the Tampa Convention Center. We've already got seven professional bouts slated for that fight. It's going to be a great card just like last time. Then the next week after that, we're back in Minglewood Hall November 18th for B3 Fight 65. What an exciting, exciting month of November for us. And you can check it all out at b3fights.com backwards slash live. So there's Seth Anderson. He awaits his opponent. Here comes Kyle Hughes from Bihelia, Mississippi fighting for Fight Clinic and Hit Fitness in Oxford, coached by J.D. Shackelford, Cody Shufford, or Sheffield rather, and Matt Webb, a former V3 Fights featherweight champion. He's now 2-0 as a professional. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Again, you have two unbeaten fighters, although Anderson has a draw. Five foot nine, both fighters. Hughes, three pounds heavier. No big deal. The difference here is Anderson at 35, Hughes at 21. But again, age doesn't always make the difference in these fights. Hughes is a freestyle fighter. Anderson, a hybrid fighter. What's interesting, though, with Hughes, he was out of action all last year. He was overseas. He got back in June, right before our, our last card in June. He was an exchange student in Hong Kong. Wow. Traveled all over Asia, went into China, Vietnam, Laos. He was all over the map, learning a lot of things, and he took some time off to get back ready. Let's see what he's been able to do. All right, here's Michael Kelly. Here we go, B3 Legion. This main event and professional bout is brought to you by Lance MMA. In a set of three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the black trunks with the gray trim at five feet nine inches. He weighed in at 143 pounds. A hybrid fighter with a professional MMA record, one win and no losses. Representing intrepid MMA and fighting out of Ozark, Alabama, Mr. Seth Anderson. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the orange corner. He wears the black trunks with the red and white trim at five feet nine inches. He went in at 145.8 pounds. A freestyle fighter with a perfect professional record, two wins and no losses. Representing the fight clinic in hit fitness and fighting out of Bahalia, Mississippi, Kyle Hughes. Nice contingent here in Tunica, representing Kyle Hughes. Clint Kolosinski, third man in the cage for this battle. Again, scheduled for three five-minute rounds. We have yet to have a fight go to the cards. This would be the last chance. Our main event of the evening, Anderson and Hughes, round one. Here we go on V3 Fights. Oh, a nice counter right there by Hughes. Now he looks for the takedown. Kyle, and he'll get it. Kyle's got a win over Seth Anderson training partner Alex Castaneda in the V3 cage. They fought as amateurs as well. So Seth's looking for a little bit of redemption for his teammate. And you mentioned that battle with Alvin Williams. Got the submission win in his first pro victory. He's 1-0-1. Hughes trying to get leverage, holding onto that side of the cage, and finally Clint Kolosinski tells him to put his hand down. Well, he's looking for that heel hook. Ankle lock, the same thing that he defeated 
Alvin Williams with. Ooh, look at that uppercut by Hughes. Just a glancing blow, though. Go for the rear naked right here. Can't see from this angle if he's got it locked in or not. It's up to tell. He's, he's above the chin now. But he's in a great position with Seth Anderson's back. Up, oh, looks like he's got it locked in now. Yeah, there's a there's a long way to go in this round, so the bell's not going to save him. Up, oh, Hughes lets it go. He didn't have it locked in. Couldn't see from this angle. We'll try it again, though. Now giving up his back is Anderson. But it Boy, looks he's like, slipping looks in like there. he's getting in. It's he close. Tapped. It's done. It's he over. Tapped. Kyle Hughes and Seth Anderson is very unhappy because he got himself in a bad predicament. And good fighters know what to do with bad predicaments. They finish their opponent. He did it. He stayed calm. He stayed composed. Improves to 3-0. and What an amazing, amazing fighter. We look forward to seeing him again in the future. And, and Jason, he's 21. We've talked all night about these young fighters, 18, 19, 21, 22. The future looks very, very bright for a lot of them. Young kids still in college. Can't wait to see what this guy can do. We see some highlights there. He starts to rain down those elbows, some punches. He stayed composed even when Seth Anderson looked like he might have had that ankle lock, but he fought out of it, threw some punches, got to his back got the choke and got the win. It's tough when you're always on the defensive and there you see the rear naked choke and eventually he chokes him out. There's the tap out right there by Mr. Seth Anderson. He couldn't do it with the heel hook. He does it with the rear naked choke. Let's get the official time now. The main event winner is Kyle Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, here in the B3 cage at Fitz Casino, we present the official time one minute. 40 seconds in a round number one. Referee Clint Kolosinski calls a halt to the bout due to tap out via rear naked choke, declaring your winner and staying undefeated, Kyle Hughes. Very popular victory here at the Fitz. A lot of folks, as I mentioned, supporting Kyle. And now a few words with our winner of our main event. Hey, hey, hey. Here's Jason with Kyle. First off, where's my judges? Are my judges here? None of you guys are getting paid. Eight fights, eight finishes, highlighted with the main event, rear naked choke finish. Kyle, was that your plan coming in here? You know, no, I really didn't have a plan going to this fight. Um, I felt like I could win this fight on the feet or on the ground, so I didn't really have a plan. I feel like I fight best when I don't have, don't have a plan. You know, I just do whatever I feel like. I just gotta trust myself and I know I'll win, so that's it. You've been overseas for a while as an exchange student traveling through Asia. Were you able to work on any technique out there? Uh, I did a little bit of training. I mean, not as much as I do at home. You know, I'm more had fun than anything else, you know. But, you know, I'm back now, and I'm ready to do this for real. I'm, I'm trying to make it now, so let's go. I want anybody. I don't care who it is, whoever. Well, you're 3-0. and The featherweight champion, Bryce Mitchell's out there. Also, Reggie Adams out there, one of your, one of your training partners. There's, there's a stacked division, and we hope to see you again soon. Anyone else you want to thank? Yeah, I got to thank all my sponsors. Um, you know, I wouldn't get paid very much if not for them right now, so thank you to all of them. Um, everybody in uh, Oxford, Cody, Matt, uh, JD, been in my corner since I was 16 years old, so he'll always be in my corner too, so um, yeah, thank you to all my coaches, all my training partners, everybody that came out to watch, thank you. Uh, yeah, that's it. There you go, your winner remaining undefeated, Kyle Hughes. Well, action packed from the start. What an electrified night Ladies and tonight gentlemen, here Fitz at the Casino, Fitz Hotel so and Casino much. here on B3, B3 Fight 63. 63. We Sunday thank you for watching here on B3Fights.com backwards slash live. We hope you'll tune in once again for our next fight card, which will be coming up on November 11th in Tampa and then November 18th in Memphis at Minglewood Hall. Action from the start. No fights go to the cards this evening. Knockouts and TKOs and submissions and young, talented fighters that are on the rise. A big thanks to our producer director, Mark King, our entire production crew, also to Nick Harmeyer, the regional general manager of Alliance MMA. For our entire crew, my partner, Jason Leader, fine. I'm saying Greg Guest. I'm, I'm Greg Guest and saying so long from the Fitz Casino in Tunica, Mississippi.